The 95th minute winning penalty and three points on the road at the Bet365 Stadium for the Swans. Fantastic away victory. Let's break down this quick review. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic victory on the road for the Swans. 2-1 victors at the Bet365 Stadium this evening. Um, the game started off for the Swans in similar fashion as the second half started off against Br uh, Bristol City uh, on the weekend. We conceded very, very early on. It took only six, took only six minutes uh, for Nick Powell to get on the score sheet for the Potters, um, capitalising really from a Mark Gaihi mistake. Um, using his right foot, which usually is pretty good, but on this occasion, uh, cutting back, being pressured by the attack from Stoke, tried playing a square ball across uh, the edge of the of the 18-yard the box. Unfortunately, the ball sort of lifted up a little bit. Fletcher, with his back turned to goal, managed to get his left foot up, flicked the ball on. Nick Powell ru uh, run through one-on-one. -on -one. Cabango tried to make up a couple of yards, uh, slid in, but couldn't get the block in time, uh, and the ball was slid. Past Freddie Woodman into the into the, the goal. Uh, as I say, an early sixth minute goal for Nick Powell, assisted by Stephen Fletcher. A fantastic start for the Potters um, and an awful, awful, awful start to the game for the Swans. Um, to be fair, it took us a little bit of time to get our, you know, our first sort of opportunities on goal and sort of get into the game. Um, we did react pretty well. It took only you know 13 more minutes for the Swans to equalise um, with a fantastic, fantastic goal. Once again, from Connor Roberts, the man himself. He is absolutely becoming a cult hero this season um, and is, again, uh, adding to his value uh, as a right wing back in this championship season. He's been absolutely fantastic for us, one of our most dangerous attacking assets all season. Uh, and I think now us is fifth goal possibly uh, assisted by ryan manning bursting down that left hand side playing a very very hard low driven ball uh he just wanted to put it into the box and to be fair to him a superb superb delivery uh, the ball skipped just past jamal low thankfully as he didn't get any sort of attempt away uh, just past his left hand side and running in getting just ahead of his man was the superman of the moment connor roberts getting in Volley opens up his foot, tucks it away, lovely past gun uh, in the Stoke goal. And it was one all on the 19th minute. And things from there started to look really promising for the Swans going forward before half time. Again, creating a good amount of opportunities in that first half, uh, causing gun all sorts of trouble. But the scores at half time, we went in, it was one all. We had a couple of good opportunities, as did Stoke with them hitting the post as well. Uh, our opportunities, Gunn was sort of spilling and parrying a lot of a lot of things, uh, unfortunately weren't there to capitalise uh, and make the most of those spilled opportunities. Um, as I say, won all at half time. We went in, Stoke made a change. They needed to make a substitution from an injury just before half time. So that was the only change to both sides uh, coming out for the second half. And the Swans started really promising, again pushing on, looking to try and get the next goal. Um, a but again, Stoke kept coming back. They they made the change. I believe they brought a winger on for a centre back. Um, so that obviously the change of formation. Um, they were a little bit more attacking. We we were sort of overloading them a little bit in midfield during the first half. So the changes were made to uh, to counter you know our sort of attacking threat through the middle. Uh, and you could see that did change the the way that the second half started. The way the second half started flowing. Uh, and there was opportunities for both sides in this. In the second half alone, uh, there was eight attempts at goal. Fortunately, three for the Swans uh, on target, none for Stoke in this one. Uh, but there was plenty, plenty of opportunities for both sides to go on uh, and get the winner. Um, I thought that Stoke had honestly hit the post uh, in the second half as well because um, the ball came back to Chester and he rifled it over the crossbar from a Fletcher uh, opportunity which bounced off of the post. Um, as I say, both teams sort of had really good opportunities each throughout the game to, to take home all three points tonight. Thankfully for us, the Swans were able to do that. We did have to wait very, very late on in the game. 
um, is a 94th minute foul um, by Clark uh, on Kyle Norton, who had done really, really well. Him and Smith build up play uh, on the edge of that right-hand side. Uh, and credit to Jay Fulton as well. Didn't stop all game. An absolute credit this, this evening again. Uh, but Smith, he had just enough in the tank to keep going with Norton uh, and playing some lovely intricate passing on the edge of the box. A lovely one to Norton had turned his man, broke into the box. Smith uh, threaded the ball through. Clark, it was it was very very soft. If I was a Stoke fan tonight, I'd I'd feel hard done by. Um, we had a couple of Stoke fans in the live watch along, and they were saying it's never a foul. I, I quite a few of the Swans fans as well saying it was very very soft. You know, we wouldn't be too happy if that was against us. But these things happen. It's football. The referee. We don't have VAR. Uh, had we had VAR, Joe Allen would have been, would have certainly been booked um, in the second half for a clear handball inside the D on the edge of the box, uh, which probably would have let Conor Horahan have a great opportunity. Um, but as I say, <clears throat> very, very soft penalty given uh, by the referee, but thankfully it was given to the Swans. And in the 95th minute, up stepped Andre Ayew to hop, skip and step and smash the ball into the back of the net um, with his trademark textbook penalty that he does where he you know, slowly builds up the, 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 the run towards the ball and slotted it right-footed straight past Gunn, who, who you know, Andre sent the keeper the wrong way. Absolute ecstatic, very, very happy with the three points. Much, much needed three points to bounce back from the defeat against Bristol City. An awful second half performance. But tonight, a much more resound 90 minutes of football. Um, you know, we were looking to, to, to score when we did concede, straight away looking to bounce back. Uh, and even when, you know, when we actually got a goal, we looked to try and get that second one tonight, which we definitely did not do uh, against Bristol. We took the lead against Bristol and then sat back. But tonight, we conceded early, we went on, we got the equaliser with plenty of football still to play. Um, and to be to be fair, credit to the players, um, the, the they carried on going. Cooper made the change of bringing Hurahan on for Jamal Lowe a little bit later in the second half. I think he had about 20-odd minutes of football to play. Great couple of opportunities for him. Brilliant work on that left-hand side um, with um, Manning. And, of course, Andre Ayew filtering in through the middle. Uh, and, to be fair, Roberts had a couple of good opportunities again later on in the second half to try and put us ahead before the penalty. But it wasn't to be. Gunn, again, with some fantastic saves. Uh, it probably would have been my man of the match uh, had we not won. Connor Roberts would have been up there as well, but as an opposition man of the match, probably would have given it to Gunn. Again, another goalkeeper to uh, to have man of the match. It doesn't really happen too often, but once again, as I say, it was a fantastic result. Thankfully, we got the right result uh, and thoroughly deserved the three points overall. So, as I say, that now puts us in a very comfortable position going into the weekend's fixture against Borough and especially going into the game in hand next week against Blackburn. So, that currently puts us still in fourth. We are now on 62 points, only one point behind Watford in third and Brentford in second with two games to play over those two. Um, we're 11 points behind Norwich with only two points to play over those. But if we win our two games in hand, uh, then we're only five points behind Norwich and anything can happen towards the end of the season, although they are looking like they're going to run away with the league. So a massive, massive victory on the road at the Bet365 Stadium this evening. Once again, massive thank you to everyone who tunes into the live streams. Guys, if you don't, please subscribe. Uh, there's actually like 57% of you who don't, uh, who watched the last live stream who haven't subscribed. And overall, there's 74% of you guys, I think it was, um, that watch my content that aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So that would probably increase us to about 3,000 subscribers, um, you know, if we had that. And that would mean a massive amount to me and to all the viewers who do tune in. So if you are a regular, if you do watch more than one of my videos or would like to see more of my content in the future, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You won't miss a single video when it goes live or when it gets uploaded. Um, but, you know, as always, thank you all very, very much for the support. Uh, Three o'clock on the Saturday against Borough. Another fantastic opportunity for the Swans to close the gap on the top of the table. Hopefully we can do so going into our game in hand in the strongest possible uh, position against Blackburn, which is not going to be an easy one. Uh, but guys, as I say, thank you very much once again and fantastic support for the Swans uh, and a great victory on the road. Until Saturday for the Borough game, have a fantastic week until then. Come on, the Swans. <laughs>